Hello to the Bundesliga review uh, of all the jerseys in there. Well, most of the jerseys. I haven't found all of them, but yeah, I want to actually run quite quickly through them, but let's first address the elephant in the room. No, I don't have a Germany jersey. I don't have a Bundesliga jersey, and the most German thing I have is this World Cup 2006 shirt that I had. And the other thing, of course, is there is a scarf hanging there, the blue one of a team that's not even in the Bundesliga. That's how bad it is. But yeah, we have Dortmund, we have Stuttgart there. And I put a lot of teams, national teams up there, where I know that players of these countries are playing in the Bundesliga. But I already wasted way too much time. Let's get right to it. We'll start with the first few. We'll start Close to Munich in Augsburg, uh, FC Augsburg, uh, supplied by Nike. Their club colors are actually um, red and green, but uh, they go here for a white home jersey with some interesting um, striping on the front. You have, I always like this, this off-center stripe that contains also the crest, but it's very much broken by the big sponsor here. And overall, this shirt is, I mean, it tries a lot, but overall, it is a little bit boring. So I think this is just an average six. The away jersey could well be the home jersey as well. Uh, there's hardly any difference. It is more interesting uh, than the home jersey, but it serves no purpose. Uh, with the green, you see the pattern a little bit more. Um, yeah. I hope they use this alternatingly be uh, between the home and the away uh, and the away jersey. I I have such a hard time with this one, honestly, because I think it's better than the home jersey, but as an away jersey, it's absolutely not um, suited. You don't even see the swoosh on this one. Let's go also six, and then. We have a third jersey that provides the contrast, but that's also the 2016 template, although the other ones also were kind of that template. I don't think it was the new Nike template. Black for black sake, with a camouflage pattern and no club colors. That's a four. Now we are going a little bit further now north to the suburbs of Cologne to Bayer Leverkusen. And Jaco is now, I think for the second or third season, the supplier, Adidas dropped by Leverkusen. They were a long time supplier, as for many other teams. And yeah, uh, since then, Leverkusen, I mean, they always have one season a black, the other season a red home jersey. And now we're again at the black with a very um, big red center stripe, which has, has a little bit of more structure to it, and a white outline. It actually looks like a PSG jersey just in black um, and for that I actually do like it. I also like a little bit the dots. This is, I mean, it's, this is the Jaco branding. Uh, the sponsor again <laughs> breaks it a little bit up. I really liked when Ajax in the 90s had the vertical sponsor in the center stripe. Um, the one thing I do not like is I really prefer my Leverkusen kits uh, in red. Uh, black is for me the third color for Leverkusen or even a way color. And for that reason, I'm also going to go, yeah, I mean, I like the overall thing. I go seven here. What's really great, though, is the away jersey with the slightly diagonal pinstripes in red and black, which is a reference to uh, the UEFA Cup winning jersey in 1988, which was made by Adidas, um, where they had this uh, sort of template. This one looks really great. The only thing I wish it would continue on the sleeves. But for a Leverkusen jersey, uh, that's a pretty good one. I would give this nine stars. And now in the German Bundesliga, we only have one Adidas jersey. And it's, of course, for the biggest team and the favorites to win it all again. Bayern Munich. Um, don't worry with Bayern about these stars. Uh, they don't have 40 titles yet. They are, I think, barely. They're not yet even 30, if I'm not mistaken. It's just that German Bundesliga has a weird system with stars that's so different from everybody else. Uh, look it up. But yeah, a red jersey as we would expect, but with a lot of pattern in there. That kind of, you know, 
has these diamonds a little bit in there in reference to the Bavarian flag, but also not really. It's a little bit of a mess. It also kind of references all these 1988, 1990 style kits. Um, yeah, not sure how much I like that one, but you know, I'm glad this is a red jersey. The only thing I do not like is that it will be worn with dark blue pants, with which was a look that they had in the 90s when they were mixing the red and the blue. Byron jerseys are always best in red. Of course, the back is all plain with white, uh, everything. Names, numbers, and of course, uh, in Germany, the club name is also uh, put on the back, which is actually a thing that I do like. Um, it makes, you know, it is a sp specifically German feature, but I think it's not a bad one. How shall I go here? Uh, it's a little bit too much for me to look at, so I will go uh, give it six stars. It's all very average at the moment. Well, we're gonna go all the way down now. I don't like their away jersey. I really don't. This is again, uh, and, and especially it's ridiculous because these, this light blue, these are the colors of the city rival 1860 Munich. Uh, it doesn't help that this is navy. It's ridiculous, this away jersey, and never seen before anything like that. And then you have a monochromatic crest, even the stars are in navy. Um, I'm sorry, David Alaba. Uh, which is an Austrian star, but playing for the for Bayern. This is just a horrible jersey. Sorry, I picked your number for that one. Um, I'm gonna give this two stars. And then the third jersey, which will be mostly worn in the Champions League, is kind of all grayish. At least the Bayern logo is in full color on there. Um, I like it when they go a little bit more navy. I mean, there's a navy color. Maybe this is kind of gray navy. It just doesn't look great. Honestly, I give this three stars. It's better than the away jersey because at least the color choice is sensible. Well, and then we're going to the big rivals. The, it's kind of funny how it works out in my personal alphabet. Um, I put Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich. I did not go Borussia Dortmund, I'm going just Dortmund. Uh, that's why you will see Mönchengladbach in the second video. We're going Dortmund here. This is the style that Milan uses for their away jersey, but just in yellow and black, and it makes a lot more sense here. Uh, it is simple. It's maybe a little bit too yellow. Um, I would like to see a little bit more black on there, but I guess we get this with the uh, black uh, shorts. It's actually interesting. Uh, this is the I mean, I like when the pattern on the front is repeated on the back, but here it's weird. It's kind of how it separates name and number. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I think this is a template that was made for Dortmund. So for that, I give it eight stars, but I would like to see it a little bit more pizzazz with that. The away jersey, of course, is black and it has, it doesn't have a weird stripe, it just has a plain yellow stripe, but it has a lot of uh, pattern texture here on the top. So yeah, uh, that's the one time where actually, you know, this is not black for black sakes. Black is one of the club colors. For that reason, it looks nice. And I actually like this pattern up there as well. I'm also gonna give this eight. And then probably I should put this in the Champions League uh, preview. But yeah, once we're looking at Bundesliga jerseys, I think this will also be worn in the German Cup. So that's why I'm adding it here. It is the Cup jersey for Dortmund, which actually looks much better. This one I like more than the home jersey because it has the black sleeves. And even with the yellow band around the uh, sleeves, I like this. As for the home jersey, I don't like the pink sponsor. Why cannot this be black? Why does it have to be pink? But this, I think I give nine, this is nine stars. Yeah, this is a great jersey. And then the last one here is Fortuna Düsseldorf. Um, not many people will know about this team, although they're always up and down. They're kind of an elevator team between the Bundesliga and the second Bundesliga. But they, in 1979, they made it to the European Cup Winners' Cup final. So there is a fact to it for you. They play, of course, in red, and here we have the red shirt with a big chevron. 
Um, yeah, I think it looks okay. Uh, if you're gonna go with Chevron, this is probably the best way. I also like that the sponsor is very, very uh, understated and you know it is in red. It fits on there without being too much in your face. Maybe the dark red color, but it's also okay. But there's still something a little bit average about this jersey, despite the chevron, honestly. So that's why... <laughs> Come on, give it... It is for such a clean look, I gotta give this 7. A little bit less of a clean look is the away jersey of uh, Düsseldorf, uh, which is gray, which is with white. I mean, this is kind of the Liverpool look, and here I'm almost okay with the gray. Gray is never a great color, but... It is not a very regular pattern, it's kind of a weird uh, squiggly line pattern. And this is in reference, and that's why I actually like this pattern, this is in reference to uh, the tile pattern in one of the subway stations, one of the main subway stations in Düsseldorf. And so that is a nice way to connect with your city. And for that, yeah, the gray is hard to look past, but I think overall this is also a seven star jersey. I think Düsseldorf has some nice kits. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, especially the further parts. And we'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.